Is Ross the best friend or the worst friend? Ross is the glue that keeps this whole group together. This show should be called Ross and his dumbass friends. No, Ross is a creepy older brother who just won't stop hitting on his sister's best friend. He's the worst. All right, let's get into it. Rothi, why is Ross the worst friend? So the real question over the course of the show isn't will Ross and Rachel get together, it's how the fuck does Ross have five friends? He is whiny, condescending, and jealous. He talks down to everyone like he's hot shit and not a paleontologist that literally got suspended from work for anger issues. When Phoebe thought her mom was reincarnated as a cat, he was such a dick to her. Rachel dodged a bullet by going on that break. And honestly, Emily dodged a bullet when he said Rachel's name at the wedding. Let me repeat that. He said the wrong name at his wedding. Every woman he spent time with was so much happier the minute she left him. That is a bad sign. I want to see a show about how much better his ex-wife's life was once she left him for a woman. Kevin, your thoughts? So listen, the reason Ross got married so often is because he had so much love to give. And that love extends to his friends. He felt everything on such a deep level. He felt the pain when Rachel wanted a break. He felt the pain when he couldn't get into his leather pants. And he felt the pain when his tanning went so poorly. Life wasn't so easy on Ross. But you know what? It's not easy on any of us, is it? And if you wouldn't want to hang out with Ross, think about how much better he is than the rest of the friends. Monica, annoyingly obsessive. Joey, a womanizer. Chandler, terrible jokes. Rachel, spoiled. Phoebe, I don't even want to get into Phoebe right now. Now you, you'd enjoy hanging out with Ross in real life, you would. He's not whiny, he's sensitive. He's not jealous, he's just been hurt in the past. And he is not condescending, he's just actually read a book for once in his life. You would enjoy spending time with Ross. And he'd probably like hanging out with you so much he'd try and marry you. And is that such a bad thing? Yeah. So should Ross get bonus points for being the only adult in the group? Well, I would go as far as to say not only should he get bonus points, he should win the game by default. He's one of the only friends that didn't have to live with one of the other five. He didn't live with any of the other friends because they didn't want to live with him. Was Ross a good father? I often forget that Ross was a father. He never sees his kids. So Kevin, assuming Ross is the best friend, who's the worst friend? Well, my answer to this question is the same answer to the question of what's the best search engine, which is Bing. Chandler Bing. He was one of the only friends who thought he was the funniest, but in fact his humor and his use of comedy in conversation was a mere defense mechanism. A thin veil for a sad person. So Brothy, who is the best friend? Phoebe Buffay. And here's why. She is so selfless, she is so kind. If Phoebe had done nothing else besides writing Smelly Cat, that alone still would have made her the best friend. I do have to admit that Smelly Cat is a banger and I do concede that point. Okay folks, now's your chance to make your final argument. Kevin? I believe that Ross Geller is a good man. He's a good father. And he is not only a great friend, he is the best friend. Look, I could make an argument, but I'd say just watch it again. As Chandler Bing would say, could he be any worse? Well, you've both made great points, but we're out of time. Let us know in the comments whose side you're on and join us on the next episode where we'll debate Israel and Palestine. See you then.